Hello everyone, I'm the military commentator for Payload Mode 2.0. Today, we'll follow a group of veteran players as they tour the battleground of Payload Mode 2.0. Ready? Jump. Sure enough, this season crew is tough as nails. Without missing a beat, they select Milta, a city crawling with enemies. But they're definitely not limiting themselves to searching houses. They've just picked up their starting gears and have begun combing through the streets and alleys of Milta. What are they looking for? So they were looking for these kind of sealed windows. These aren't your typical windows. This must be a special room. Let's keep following and have a look. It's actually a secret room. This iron door looks really sturdy. It doesn't look like regular firearms could break through. It would take a super weapon to open. I recommend using either the M134 minigun or the RPG-7 rocket launcher. There are plenty of combat supplies in the safe room. Laser guided missiles, a rocket launcher, and a portable radar. Use the portable radar to see where nearby vehicles are headed. They're crossing the bridge and heading for the airport play zone. Let's pick up the pace and check out the other side. Some teammates are already piloting an AH-6 helicopter not far from us. Splitting up increases the odds of survival. I'm gonna hurry and get in the car with the team. Strange our teammates didn't go with the UAZ, even though it has way more firepower. They chose the armored pickup instead. Watch out! Two armed UAZs are right on our tail, but since they're not as fast as us, they shouldn't be able to hit us. Still, be careful, they have a flamethrower. We finally got rid of them. Wait a second, why are we driving into the sea? Whoa. Turns out this armed pickup is amphibious and can move on water. Cool. Careful, there's an enemy firing at us from that UAZ near the shore. They don't call the AH-6 helicopter the strongest vehicle for nothing. It has tremendous firepower. A bunch of teams are pummeling each other on the bridge. No wonder the leader had us take the pickup. The radar shows multiple vehicles converging towards the bridge, which means it's safer to travel by water or air. All right, here's the base. Besides the AH-6 helicopter, there's also a super weapon crate here. We're the first to occupy the base, but we'll need a few minutes to open the super weapon crate and start the AH-6 helicopter. While we're at it, enemies could come and seize the base at any time. Get ready to defend it. A vehicle can be used to block the ramp entrance. Armed vehicles are tougher to destroy, so they make a great barrier. The portable radar can also be used to investigate enemy movements. Keep an eye out for approaching vehicles. Enemy incoming. We are seeing all kinds of armed vehicles headed for our base. It looks like we have a fierce battle ahead of us. That's okay. We're ready. We can let the enemies on the periphery fight each other first. We've also got the super gear. Our second AH-6 helicopter was hit by enemy fire before it even took off. Unfortunately, we lost a teammate. Luckily, there's a communication tower right here. The leader has made a dash for his teammate's crate, taking out his ID card. He's preparing to revive the teammate at the communication tower. Now here's the thing. Throughout the map, there are several communication towers where eliminated teammates can be recalled. Usually, a communication tower can only be used to recall a teammate once. However, the communication tower at this particular base is an advanced communication tower, which allows players to recall teammates an infinite number of times. Here comes the enemy drop plane. This is our chance to launch the UAV over the battlefield. The noise of the airdrop plane will be the perfect cover. This UAV is operated remotely by the UAV control terminal, and the payload mode 2.0 UAV comes with eight guided missiles. Investigating and fighting are both crucial. Leader, enemy approaching. I didn't realize that we also had the ultimate gear, the anti-bomb suit. It can absorb the full force of a rocket launcher. However, wearing the anti-bomb suit seems to affect your speed. And that's the end of our Payload Mode 2.0 special. We'll have even more highlights in the next one. Coming soon, the anti-bomb suit. Might be pretty tough, but it definitely affects your speed.